Hello and welcome back to Live Text. In this presentation, we'll talk about how to actually share a portfolio once it's been created. If you recall from previous tutorials, you now know how to create a brand new portfolio and you do this by going back to your documents and choosing new. We'll now talk about how you can share your portfolio with another Live Text user using the share button. If you recall from previous tutorials, you now know how to manage your content, adding new sections to an existing page, and also how to add additional pages. To share this portfolio with another live text user, you can click on the share button. Now bear in mind that to use the share button, the recipient of the portfolio must also have a live text account. If they don't have a live text account, you're going to use a visitor's pass, and we'll talk about that in, an, in another portfolio presentation. So once your portfolio is ready to share, you'll click on the Share This Document button. In the uh, window that pops up, you'll be prompted to find the person who, to whom you want to send this particular portfolio. And what Live Text will do as soon as you start typing is it will look at its database of users and pop up with the name that you've typed in. So if I want to set, share this portfolio with Michelle Buckberger, I will start typing Michelle and the Live Text users with that name will start to populate the window. Once I find the user ID, and you'll notice that the name and then the user ID in Live Text will pop up next to it, I simply click on it and that name will appear here. Now we're not done yet because until I click on add to share and then you can see that the current viewer is updated that person still won't be able to see the portfolio so make sure you click on the name start typing it in and I'll, I'll shoot, choose another viewer you start typing it in and then when you find the name of the person you want to add to the share you click add to share and those will, names will be updated in the current viewers list beneath it. When you're done, you can simply click the X and that portfolio is now available to be shared with those particular individuals. Now, because I sent that portfolio to myself to view, I can actually see what that looks like in my inbox because if somebody sends you a portfolio to view, you will need to know how to retrieve it. So to find a portfolio that someone has sent to you to look at, so one of your classmates has sent you a portfolio and shared it with you, you simply go to your inbox and you might want to just go ahead and click on that date um, modified so that the most recent portfolio appears in your bin and I can see the one that I sent to myself has appeared in my inbox and that's the one I just shared. So I can click on it and take a look at it. Because I shared that with myself, I actually have all the abilities to go ahead and manipulate and change and edit it. Um, if you share it with a, a student, um, they will only be able to look at it. They will not be able to make changes. So again, it's very easy to share a portfolio with another live text viewer. You just click that share button. And to see a, a portfolio that's been shared with you, simply go back to your documents, look in your inbox, and check out what portfolios have been sent to you. Remember, when you click on share, you don't get any kind of indication that that person has actually opened or viewed that portfolio. So make sure you send an email to your recipient so they know to look out for the portfolio. The nice thing about the visitor's pass is you can actually see metrics. You can see who's, vu who's viewed your portfolio and we'll talk about that in a later portfolio presentation. Enjoy sharing your portfolios with other people and I'll see you in the next presentation.